Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and in this video we are going to answer a very important clinical question that I frequently get from my patients and the question is can male infertility be fixed? So this is a question I frequently get from my patients because most patients who are seeking out a male, for, male infertility treatment are actually looking for a permanent solution to the problem and not just some bypass treatment strategy. Alright, so uh, you know, to put, uh, put the answer in, in a single sentence, can male infertility be fixed? The answer is yes, it can be fixed in most cases if not all cases. And uh, there's a difference between fixing a condition or uh, and as well as curing the condition. So can male infertility be cured? No, it cannot be cured. Uh, the thing is, but can it be fixed? Yes, there are solutions to you know, kind of you know, fix the condition and really depends on what's causing the male factor infertility problem. So in certain patients what happens is patients have conditions like you know, low sperm count, low sperm motility, uh, abnormal sperm shape, some patients will have a high degree of sperm DNA fragmentation uh, index problems. Some other patients you know, have suffer from a condition called hypogonotrophic hypogonadism. Some patients will not even have any sperm in their ejaculate, it's a condition called azospermia. Ultimately, uh, the condition decides on whether uh, whether a particular treatment or cure you know, is actually possible or feasible. So for example, a, a patient is diagnosed with male factor infertility if he has tried for one year, regularly, regular sexual intercourse, one year, no contraception, yet no pregnancy happens. What we do is we usually advise patients to take a semen analysis. And if the semen analysis shows low sperm count, that is the count less than 15 million per ml. So if you say the count is 10 million or 11 million or 12 million per ml or, and the motility is say somewhere between 25% or 20% or 15% instead of the actual 35%. What we can do is we advise, we, you know, we give in-depth lifestyle advice, uh, dietary recommendations, food habit changes and a lot of things we do you know, to kind of optimize the holistic health of the patient in order to you know, fix the male fertility problem. So rather than you know uh, you know look at what's causing it you know uh, you know in an in-depth manner, what we try to do is separate all uh, you know possible uh, lifestyle conditions for the patient so that you know there's an improvement in the overall spermatogenesis or the sperm quality. Uh, that, that's a better way of you know putting it. And in certain conditions, like for example, where a clear-cut established diagnosis can be made. So for example, you have a medical condition called hypogonadotrophic hypo, hypogonadism. You have a condition called Kalman syndrome. So in these conditions, there's a deficiency of um, central FSH and central LH secretion, which is causing uh, you know uh, uh, the male fertility problem itself. So basically, FSH is the hormone for sperm production, LH is the hormone for testosterone production. And in these patients, if you give FSH therapy combined it with testosterone therapy, these patients again tend to you know get their sperm back to the cell. So that's, that's the way you have to look at this condition. Are there medications to fix male infertility? There are some medications, but remember it's in only very specific indications like in Kalman syndrome, hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism, there are very, very specific indications. Most of the antioxidants that are you know, being prescribed for male factor infertility problems actually do not work at all. So there is ample evidence on it. I'll be making a separate video on antioxidants in male infertility. So can male infertility be fixed? The answer is yes. And uh, well, here's the other thing, in some patients the count is very very low, so some patients will have sperm count that's you know so low, less than 1 million, occasional motile sperms are seen or sometimes you know it will be uh, all dead sperms or completely immotile sperms, these are all severe male factor infertility problems. In these severe uh, conditions what we normally do is we do a procedure called ICSI which is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. What happens in ICSI is basically we are selecting what we are taking the best appearing sperm under the microscope taking the egg from the female partner, fertilizing it you know, in vitro, culturing it till a day 3 or a day 5 embryo stage is reached and then transferring it. So ICSI helps you know, kind of bypass certain natural fertilization barriers. And although this is not like you know, a perfect fixture to the problem of the male factor infertility itself because you are not treating the underlying cause. So what you are trying to do is just bypass, bypass your way and you know, kind of uh, overcome the hurdle of having a child. It's, it, that, that's what it is. So you can't really fix all problems. But yes, male factor infertility to a large extent, uh, you know, uh, is definitely, uh, you know, treatable, if not curable. And uh, ultimately, can male infertility be fixed? It, the, whether it can be fixed or not depends clearly, clearly and purely only on the clinical diagnosis that is established during the workup. Also, some patients, you know, will have a male factor infertility because of sexual dysfunction. So some patients may have erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation. Some patients will not even have ejaculation. You know, they may have an ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation. 
For these conditions, there's clear cut treatment strategies that can be used to you know fix the male fertility problem, male infertility problem. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on can male infertility be fixed. Do comment, like, and subscribe. Please share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah Vanakam and Namaste.